Okay, good morning dear, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is lecture number 19 and today in this lecture we are going to give you a purely statistical interpretation of logistic regression function. As you know, this is similar to what we did uh, in linear regression. Um, a very simple but elegant statistical interpretation is also possible. Here also we assume that the samples uh, follow IID, that is samples are independently and identically distributed and they follow Bernoulli distribution. Okay, Because you know uh, for any random xi, yi is actually uh, discrete right here uh, for any random xi the yi belongs to only two value 0 and 1 okay and when this is the case then ideal distribution which can capture the uh, this kind of uh, um, populations are Bernoulli distribution okay so we are using Bernoulli distribution and we are using the same framework of maximum likelihood estimate of the model parameters, right? So let's see. Now suppose this is my, as you know, this is my predictor, right? So what predictor is doing? Predictor is actually uh, calculating the probability, okay? Calculating the probability, say so equal to 0, I equal to 1, they are the two classes, 0 0.5, okay, so we have two asymptotes passing through the um, 0 0.5 point, okay, and we are calling it threshold and your decision boundary is equal to 0, that is the decision boundary, decision boundary and this is your uh, logistic function, now you see, so this is actually calculating the probability, okay, so what it is calculated for any x, say here, here or here, so I will plug in to the expression of um, the plug in to the expression of h w x which is equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus x assuming that w uh, somehow you know which we do not know but we will estimate okay so uh, for that it is calculating the probability right so for this point that point that point you will have to plug in here and calculate the probability get some value okay so this is nothing but probability for for any sample to belong to a class 1 parameterized by w you know by this way this sign means w is not random variable it is a model parameter while these and these are random variables right samples and since this is binary class so we can also write 1 minus uh, h x parameters by w is equals to probability that a sample belongs to a class 0 parameters by w okay so if this is the case then this is obvious okay because this two probability will be equal uh, it will be one okay so in a more compact form this uh, this uh, follows Bernoulli distribution, okay, samples are random for any x, okay, you have 0 or 1, 0 or 1. You, if you have 1000 samples, maybe for 10 samples, then you have say 500 belongs to class uh, 0, 500 class 1 or 300, any, any, any number, okay. So they are random in nature. So their probability distribution can be written in the compact form using Bernoulli formula right the Bernoulli distribution formula that is probability 
any sample given a sample belong to a class y parameters by w is equals to h x to the power y times 1 minus h x parameters by w to the power 1 minus y okay Assuming that the training samples follow IID, okay, we can now write down, write down the likelihood estimate of the model parameter. So from this distribution, we can calculate, uh, we can estimate uh, the likelihood estimate of the model parameter like this. So this is a multiplication sign. If you have m number of samples, i equals to 1 to m, h, x parameters by w to the power y i 1 minus h x i parameters by w 1 minus y i. So, this is a compact function. So, this is the likelihood estimate function, likelihood estimate function of w. Okay. But it is very difficult to compute this. So, what we do? We take log. That is why the name log likelihood. Okay. So, we take the log of both the sides. Okay. So, then the multiplication sign becomes a summation sign okay as log you know log can convert uh, pro, uh, multiplication to summation and we have since log we have taken so this is coming over here so log of hw xi plus this has also come here 1 minus y this is log okay sorry this is not visible log 1 minus h uh, x parameters by w. Okay. So <clears throat> now just um, we are writing uh, log of this okay, is equals to this say small l w. That's just say we are assuming. Okay. And this is equals to this. Okay. Now, for maximizing the likelihood estimate of parameter w, what you'll have to do? If I want now that what are the uh, maximum likelihood of w, which will make the probability maximum. That is, given a sample, what is the maximum probability that probability that it belongs to a particular class? Okay. For doing that, we'll have to maximize the uh, likelihood estimate of the parameter w. So again, same old story, right? You have this function, this. I am differentiating this function with respect to w, okay? So it turns out that this differentiation is equals to this, okay? This is nothing but minus of j w, what? just in my earlier lecture we deduce the def derivative okay this derivative differentiation we have deduced from the first principle first principle but only thing is that uh, here the function here both are positive sign here in, in all our case both are negative so this function is nothing but negative of our earlier uh, cost function okay so statistically what you got is this okay that um, the likelihood estimate the function eventually is the minus of um, logistic regression function so we are again rewriting for your clarity okay uh, now there are two ways directly on this you can run gradient ascent algo. Why gradient ascent algo? Because here both are positive sign, you know. That means your cost function is just uh, LW, right? LW parameter will be just like this. Okay. In our case, JW W was actually like this, isn't it? So log likelihood. Okay. So now 
if this is the uh, function then what you need to do you need to run gradient ascent algorithm so you have two option now that is directly here you you can use the expression which we have deduced earlier okay with only negative sign on it and directly you run gradient ascent algorithm okay this is one possibility remember this is plus sign okay another possibility is okay that uh, we can prove that the this is a function likelihood estimate of w if my objective function is this and i need to maximize this objective function this is same as minimizing the minus negative of this function okay so please note that maximizing this is same as minimizing negative say i am calling it l prime w another function which is negative of the lw function right so then uh, this prime thing sorry okay l prime l prime uh, w or uh, differentiate the l prime w with respect to parameter is equals to 1 by m differentiate with respect to parameter this function this what is this this is nothing but our logistic regression function jw beautiful two minus signs are there okay and what will be the derivative of this function just we have deduced very minutely very carefully without missing any step we deduced and this was of this form okay where this is g of w transpose xi okay clear so now you can run the gradient algorithm okay so here again there will be minus sign but earlier since this was plus you will have to just the derivative you will have to if you want to use the same derivative you will have to uh, make it uh, negative so it will be here here you can check it it will be y minus so what will be this this will be y minus is wx times x j okay so the decision is choice is yours i i suggest this is the best uh, to follow this okay but either way you can do okay so what you are, uh, what you you have ended up getting that same um, like uh, function maximum likelihood estimate function you have got purely from the statistical point of view just assuming the samples are random and they follow bernoulli distribution okay from that assumption you could calculate the likelihood estimate of w using statistics okay so the bernoulli distribution okay and you can you could calculate from this distribution this value okay and then you wanted to maximize the likelihood estimate parameter w okay so that's it and um, that means uh, now in terms of your again uh, say where to put the decision boundary say this is x1 this is x2 where to put the decision on here or here or so you will get a decision boundary okay where the uh, um, maximum likelihood of w uh, we will get so that the uh, decision boundary can actually classify both the samples so that's it beautiful so you have now statistical interpretation um, you have now um, uh, the cost function logistic regression cost function now you also know how to differentiate the function 
and you also know how to run the get integration algorithm on that function and thereby how to get the parameters. Now, uh, I would just like to um, conclude uh, with this note that this is still a design that means you will be given samples which are labeled that means if there are two classes samples which you will be using for tuning W parameters they will be having a level okay that this sample belongs to positive class this sample belongs to negative class or this sample belongs to one class one this sample belongs to zero like that okay so with those labeled uh, samples you need to now um, evaluate your uh, garden, you need to run your garden efficient algorithm you decide how many features you will select so it is again design your design may vary with other design in spite of all the background model analytics remains the same okay uh, say you, you have a level sample and you have decided only to take two parameters that means two features somebody can decide three features four features like that okay and accordingly her or his design uh, design means the classifier uh, will perform so if you design a wrong classifier for a data set still you will get um, bad uh, answer okay so that's why it is called design and it design means it is an iterative process you'll have to try you'll have to um, train your model with training sample then you will have to test your model how it is performing then you will have to validate okay means the testing uh, with unknown or unseen samples then if your classifier performs well then yes you can declare i have designed a classifier for this class of uh, problem you can use my classifier to check any sample in which class it belong okay so with this, I um, thank you for your attention, uh, stay safe and have a nice day, bye bye.